For the first step, we're going to head over to search and then type in services. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to click on any service, then click on W on our keyboard. And we're going to scroll down until we find Windows Update. We're going to right click on it, click on properties, and then change the startup type to disabled. And then click on OK. You also want to make sure that the service is stopped. So you want to double click on it and then make sure that the service status says stopped. If it doesn't say stopped, then you want to click on stop right here and then click on OK. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in delivery optimization advanced settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to tick percentage of measured bandwidth. If you want to tick this and then tick both of these and you want to change them both to five. For the third step, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on network and internet. Once you're on this, we're going to select either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, no matter which one you have, just select it. Then we're going to turn off metered connection, turn this off. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in ncpa.cpl. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to select either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, no matter which one you're using. We're just going to select it and then click on properties. And then click on internet protocol version 4. And then make sure that use the following DNS server address is ticked. We're going to make the first line 8888. And we're going to make the second line 8844. And then click on OK. Once you do everything in this video, restart your computer and your internet speed will be much faster.